is Franks here going over your Animal Farm Doodle Notes. So today we are looking at allegory, satire, and fable. So we're going to start with allegory. So I'm going to zoom in over here under allegory. So to start off with, um, allegory is a story, poem, or picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning typically a political or moral one. So what that means is that it has two layers. There are two layers to the story. There is the literal layer and the symbolic layer. So we have to think, all right, what is literally happening in the story? And then what is symbolically, like what is that symbolizing? What is that standing for? So what's that hidden meaning? It's a little deeper than just symbolism because the symbols actually work together to create an undersurface meaning. So uh, instead of it being just like one symbol that is reused throughout the text, it is multiple that are working together. Um, some literary forms of, fa of um, allegories, so they can show up as fables, they can show up as parables, or they can show up as myths. And then um, allegories can feature either human or animal characters, but I feel like allegories fall, what we're mostly familiar with, are going to be more animal characters. All right, so with allegory, you're just thinking two layers that there is like a hidden political or moral meaning. We're going to slide on down here to satire, so center here. So satire is... It is writing that ridicules its subject through the use of exaggeration, reversal, incongruity, or, and or humor in order to make a comment or a criticism about it. So it's kind of like sarcasm in a way. They ridicule something to show how absurd it is. It's deeper meaning than, there's a deeper meaning underneath the humor. So it might exaggerate something. It might make like a role reversal joke or um, it might even use humor, but really there is, it's criticizing something. There is a negative comment underneath. So when books are satires, we have to look at like, okay, what is the author trying to comment about society or what are they trying to make a joke about? When you think in satire, think of those big um, TV shows, Saturday Night Live, things like that, that do real big spoof type of shows. That's it. It's satirical. They're making some sort of comment or criticism. All right. Our last part of notes here. Get on up there is fable. So fable is a fictional story which can be in prose or verse, prose or poem, that features animals, mythical creatures, plants, inanimate objects, forces or forces of nature that are anthropomorphized, which means given human qualities, such as verbal communication. Um, and that illustrates or leads to an interpretation of a moral lesson. So essentially a fable is a fictional story where they are using not just humans, you know, they're using animals, mythical creatures, centaurs, things like that, plants, objects that or forces of nature that have human qualities. And there is a moral lesson underneath that. The, it's the focus of many shorter works. That's why we think like Aesop's fables and stuff like that. And sometimes with fables, they tend to be preachier than allegories. This is more about like human life and the way individuals should live. Whereas allegory is more um, like a comment about society as a whole. Um, versus just a fable. All right. Um, oh, and then our middle one, Animal Farm is an allegory. It's a fable and it's a satire. So our new novel actually fits in all three of these um, types. I'm excited to dive into this new text with you all.